Welcome to the Inventory Version 2 Setup Guide. I'm your host, Croxus, and today I'm going to show you how you can set up the inventory asset in your own custom scene, like I have here. So I've started by dragging in the Steve Inventory Prefab into the scene from the Prefabs folder as shown on screen now. All we've set up in the scene so far is just simply a virtual camera, and some terrain and foliage to make it look nice. Everything else is just like a blank scene. On the Steve Inventory Prefab, we have an Inventory Master component, which has a Setup Wizard tab. This will allow us to set up the scene easily and quickly. Also make sure that the player character has a transform hook which is registered to the player transform var as shown here. Also ensure the character has a Malbers tag called player. We are now going to run each step individually and take a look through. In step 1, we can turn off and on different modules depending on what you require. In step 2, this sets up and finds all the button transform vars that are needed for the inventory to work. Step 3 will set up all the other references that are required. Step 4 will find and register all the items that you've made and are in your project. Step 5 will set up the prefabs and spawn them into your scene. Step 6 will spawn some dummy items to test with. For step 7, this requires you to have a canvas in your scene. If you haven't created one, please follow along and then assign it. Here on the canvas I'm changing the scale mode to be relevant to my screen size. Yours may differ depending on your own screen size. Finally here we are setting the canvas to step 7. For step 8, this automatically sets up the inputs. If you are using the old input system you can set up the inputs as I've done manually here. If you are using the new input system, assign your input action reference and choose the correct map name of where you want the inputs to be created. So now what we are going to do is run the setup wizard step by step so you can see it in action. If you are using the old input system, skip step 8. The console will show progress of what's happening at each step. If we check the buttons in the other tabs after running the steps, we can see that they have all now got the correct references. Here we are registering the items which is needed for save slash loading. If the items are already registered, they will be skipped. Only new ones will be added. This is good for users who may have hundreds of items and don't want to add each one manually. The output of the register will appear in the console which will show any new registrations and any items that were skipped. Here I am spawning the necessary prefabs into the scene. The editor may lag a little as it does this, this is normal. The console will show the output of this. Here I am just spawning in some dummy items to test with. Skip this step if you want to create your own, but I would recommend using the dummy items to start with until you get used to creating your own items. Here they have spawned under the floor so I'm just moving them a little up and away from us. Back to the setup wizard, I am now setting up the interact UI which shows us an interaction symbol when going near an item to pick up.
So even though I'm using the old input system in this demo, here is an example of setting up the new input system. You need to have an input link component. You need to match the names and input asset reference to the input link. So now we press the button in step 8 to set them up. The console will show the output. Here I will show you what they should look like when set up correctly. Please watch and follow along. Sometimes when setting up a new input there is a Unity bug that causes the input reference to appear blank and here you can see on the console when set to none, you get an object reference error. Here is a way to get around that. Start by going to edit and then project settings. Then delete the inputs it's created for you by pressing the delete key on your keyboard. Leave the project settings window open and maybe move it to a different screen if you have one. Once you've done all of that, then perform step 8 again and the input will work and you can check the inputs again. Now we are ready to test the inventory. Let's press play and go into the scene. So now we are just going to collect some items and make sure they appear in the inventory and we can use them. And that's it. That is the setup tutorial for the Malbers inventory. If you need more information or help, please check out the documentation website or join our Discord community and we will be more than happy to help you.